Hello, this is the Xfinity cars at Indianapolis. Open setup. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 98 Fahrenheit. Trying a qualifying lap. Um, you might see I have a 2X. And I already screwed up my lap. I decided I maybe will record this one lap. See if I can pull one off without screwing it up again. I need to be careful with the X's. My safety rating is getting pretty low. And I don't like that. I don't like being the guy out there with a 2.6 safety rating. So this is my one and only chance at a lap. Honestly don't know if I want to be ahead of any of these people anyway, not that I expect to. No, that ain't gonna do it. Really loose on this set for qualifying. But that kills this run down this whole straightaway, so it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. I was able to get a 52.6 as a qualifying lap in practice. Pretty much this isn't going to do that, but... That's okay. I'm not that worried about where I start. I just thought I'd try. Lap for Bruno, 52.4. Yeah, see, I would have never beaten a 52.4. 53-1, yeah, pretty bad, but I screwed that up pretty bad, too. I'll take it, though. Let's get off the track. Water temperature's creeping up. Can't escape. There we go. Gotta click on the screen. I will show you the entries quick. Let's see. I like myself. Still better than some. I mean, they probably have a second lap to put in. Although, if they're like me, the second lap would be hard saying. Uh, before I screw up. Before I uh, go out with my qualifying set, let's get the race set up in. And we have a 6,000 I rating guy at the top, an 800 at the bottom. I am a 1,700 in the 13 spot. This is a single split, as you could probably tell, with a 6,000 and 800. This is everyone who signed up. It's noon on a Tuesday. Not a really high participation well, slot. But I'm starting to recognize, I think this Mike T. Bruno, I've seen him in other people's videos. I keep racing with this Rainier guy. I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about anyone. I'm just starting to recognize the names is what I'm getting at. Hopefully I don't cause them any problems. So, goal here is to lament never having practiced a green flag stop. Because I always forget to do that, and I'm sitting here thinking, wow, what if this goes green? I don't know. I ran some laps. I only had one opportunity to try to make a pass in practice, and I couldn't get it done, even though it was faster. So that's an Achilles heel of mine. You about got to clear them off, off the corner, because if you're in a drag race on the straight, you just or you either have to have a mega run. Wow, that number three car's uh, right front camber looks a little uh, extreme. I don't know if that's a glitch or if he's set up that way. I'd like to say a glitch because yikes. <laughs> this is going to be a race. That happens. I just hope it's not one that I'm down on myself afterwards. That's all that's been happening to me lately. Ran the 358 mods last night. That was going pretty well until the end. <sighs> Nothing I could have done it well. Maybe. Alright, so we got three set, three additional tire sets. 
I do not know what the fuel run's gonna look like. I do know I ran like a 15 lap run in practice, oh, and my tires right. were hurting already. Curious to see if that three's car. God, that tire's just. <laughs> what is that? I prefer to think that. Try not to blow up this time. A 4,000 I rating guy knows what he's doing compared to me. Yeah, good luck, man. I just get my setups. Yeah, I was about as close as you can get last race. I was having to watch it until I took a little break so off and you still. I get my setups out. from uh, School of Sim Racing. Well, I was like on the first kind of, uh, and, and I was doing all right. And I guess I was too close behind the other guy. I probably should get more it, caught oil? up so people Can aren't they? mad at me. Wow, they're talking. They're talking yeah, a lot. Oil. Yeah, same here. The only way to really cool that down quick is having a clutch it. Water temp, you just want to leave it in gear and let off, but the oil is just a lot more difficult. Yeah, but you see, it was a 283. You this Robert Cook is another Robert one I recognize. More because I, I recognize him talking. He's a talky fellow. I hear you. Mine went up really quick. Didn't really pay attention, so I started in 10th, huh? I'll try a new and improved setup here, see if it if it is better. I think the air temp's a little cooler in here, too, so should be, should be alright. I took the tape off of it. Yep, same. Okay, Justin, be ready. Watch for the lights. Heck, that three's wheel is distracting, but uh, I overcooked it into that turn. If I get a run on this guy, I'm just going to back off of it. I'm just going to settle in and, and run laps. It's harder to judge where to brake when you're behind someone. It's when I was just running laps by myself, I had no problems. All right. I saw you, Frank. I wasn't gonna cut you off. Thanks, man. I just kind of seeing where these two in front of me were going. I really had to. Whoa. A little loose. A little loose moment there. Wasn't really getting that in practice, but I don't know how much. So yeah, that corner was terrible, which means uh, this whole run down the straightaway is gonna suck. I'm just gonna let this guy through. I mean, he's gonna want it. Inside. He's still there. Inside's clear. Racing with guys I don't really belong with, probably. So. Just, just gonna settle in. And I don't know about saving tires. I do know that the lap times are falling off big, for me anyway. I wish I would have brought up my delta bar. I'm gonna have to try to do that at some point. But right now, I just want to focus on getting some laps in. That Robert behind me. I'm assuming he's gonna want by at some point. If it looks like he's making a big run, I'll definitely just yield it. A little loose. Okay, Justin, your water temperature's creeping 
up. Followed by a little tight. <laughs> not good. That was not a good sequence of turns. And I keep hearing the water temperature. I've learned to just sort of ignore that. These school of sim racing setups I've been using, I think, must just kind of be borderline. But, and I'm just come to the conclusion that crew chief is overly careful on that message. Because I do not see the flash. It always looks like it's right at 240. I'm going to go by that philosophy until it bites me. I'm not going to worry about it otherwise. If I hear oil temp, then I'm going to worry. You can already just feel how much harder this is to drive. I don't know if that Robert's just content to ride behind me. All right, Justin. Our fuel window opens on lap 27, and it will close on lap 33. Oh, that's a pretty tight fuel window. So it looks like fuel can't go much more than half the race, as I'm currently running, I guess. Good to know. I might be burning up my tires, too. I mean, the guys in front are pulling away, but you always expect that from the better racers. They can save tires and be fast because they're so smooth, I guess. One thing I'm liking so far is the spread outness of this. Just let me run laps without screwing someone up. Yeah, I'm probably burning them up too fast. I gotta say, I love the Crew Chief app. It's really, really helpful. Like in a real NASCAR race, you would have a Crew Chief to take your mind off of all that stuff, so I don't feel like it's a cheat or anything. The, the driver wouldn't be calculating fuel uh, windows and pit strategies and all that, because he has a lot to think about. So the, it's not only is it helpful, it's also kind of immersive. Like I actually have someone looking out for me on that. Your last lap time was at 54.0. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 0.8. Well, yeah, I hit the wall. I'm, I'm lower. Want to go to go? I got a gap building behind me. Thank you, man. I appreciate. It. Which makes me just wanna. Maybe back it down more. Because nothing's less fun than having the worst tires on the track and just going backwards. I would try to savage something. And nothing's more fun than the opposite. Yeah, I think you just barely clipped it, man. Just kind of sucked you into it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Indianapolis. I mean, I've raced on it before in probably Not games. But not eye racing. Like I mentioned in my 358 modified race, I did a six track purchase yesterday. Five of them I'm probably going to need this week. I lost the answer at a turn and the wall keeps coming in. And one was just to get the six piece discount, a track that I'll need eventually. I see him, Manny. I intended to run ARCA last night, but I got into the practice and decided I'm going to have to dedicate more time to practice before I get out in the actual race there. So far I'm enjoying this race. It's got a long ways to go. A long race. But I see the potential for... Uh, for it to go green for long chunks because it's so spread out and I wouldn't call it an easy track to master but it's fairly easy to get around without incident yeah I got I some you there, Frank. got some high I rated guys behind me Stop it. thank you I'm curious as to where I'll eventually end up in the I rating. You know, eventually you get to a point where you're kind of in a range, probably, because you finally found where you belong. Gap 
I'd like to think that number's higher for me. Alright. Well, I would like to think we'll probably all come in for tires here. No, once again, somebody stopped on the track. He gone. I didn't really want that caution. For anyone that doesn't know, Alt F4, if you're blown up or done, done, and you're still on the track rolling, Alt F4 will get you out of the race and not bring out the yellow. I was able to roll back to the car, drive my car back to the pit, but I blew up. Out. Line up single file behind car number three. Full course yellow. It's a closed. Yeah, I think some people just don't care and some people just don't know. Don't they know B is all about green run, green lap run? Don't they know that? They should. At some they point, should. I feel like we're going to catch the pace car and uh, have to check way up. Looks like it's a ways up yet, though. We're still trying to catch the field, boys. Way up there. I think they should pay this in brick. I hate this fact. Are open. You don't have to do that. But. The leader, Bruno, is pitting. Bro, it's sixty miles per hour. Come on. Lane speed limit is 60 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. To He's going here. slow. I can't do nothing about it. Please don't hit. Why? Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. That was embarrassing. I couldn't see anything. Well, there's all my track position. I'm just going to let everyone go. They can watch this embarrassing display of pitting. That's so stupid of me. Why did I do that? I got to get better at that. Everyone I watch just makes it look so easy, but you know, they've probably done it a million times. Sorry, Michael, I thought I was still on pit road there. No worries. Well, I'll run around in the back. Maybe I can pass some people. What can you do? Get good, I guess. Safety car is out. Pits are now open. Nine point three gallons. Uh oh, someone just disappeared in front of me. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap.
I like to think I'm better than some of these cars that I'm now stuck behind because of my... Hey, Bruno, I was told to get I get your set from you before I could do some adjustments to it. So when you get done, I'm going to go see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my call back to the back. I can see they're going, but no one else is going. So what happens you get stuck behind because of a bad pit. All right, let's just be patient and not stupid. 17th place. 17th. What was I in before that? I don't even know where I was running. 11th or 12th, probably? Car outside. Clear high. Someone spun down low. Thanks, man. Yeah, he wasn't fast. Are people just stopping on the track? No, someone on my inside came up on my own. I had to go. Yeah, it definitely wasn't me. You just got shoved out of there, didn't you, Derek? Yeah, he just straight come down and killed me. Well, that sucks. Can you get up here 16 or are you hurt? For 13, you have no front end. Fifteen, I'd have gave you third place if you wanted it that bad. Look out for the pit speed limit. Did you get damage from that, Derek? Oh yeah, yeah, big we'll time. To stop again. I thought you were gonna hit the inside wall. That's what I hit. Oh, I thought you had it saved for a second. Oh, Cars man. In five, four, three, two. Yeah, one. side of my mirror. Looks like slide for life. Never ending slide. Yep. Now I guess it's run around in log laps time. Because I doubt I'm going to have speed after that. 46 seconds. So it ain't horrible, horrible, but it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, if any of it's on the front, I'd drop your tape a little bit. Good call. See, there, there, you, people need to be like me. You're faster than I get the inside, you got the inside. You got.
I need more Mark Martins in the world. I guess that's what we need. Amen to that. a uh, big enough track where I can just sit here without too much worry to do a minute full of repairs. Well, we'll see what we got. That sucks. I gotta get better at avoiding accidents. I gotta get better at pitting. I gotta get better. Oh, I just need to get better at, at racing in general. But that's why I'm doing it. Practice. I just wanted a log lapse. And I I wouldn't have been back there had I not. Oh, I'm not gonna get the black flag, am I? You just swerve a little right there and it gets mad at you. Oh, this car feels... Whoa. I guess I can go. That's what I'm doing. No need to plow this guy uh, on a pacing lap. I would like to catch them just so it takes less time to get lapped. Or more time to get lapped. I said that wrong. I can probably just get around him and catch the seven on my own. I guess it wasn't that much danger. I wish we were back at Michigan still. Mm -hmm. All right, log laps and hope we can improve our position. Did someone fade out on the lap caution? No, I don't believe so. Not in front of me anyway. Six point nine gallons. Ruto. What's up, brother? I'm working my way back in the back. <laughs> Free flag, we're racing. Got it, got outside. Still there. B eighteen. Clear outside. I'll have to watch that wreck back and see how poorly my decision making and reaction time looks with the benefit of hindsight. But right now I'm not going to be very racy. I just got to see if there's any positions to be gained from Thank you, Tom. people getting wrecked out. But. Live to race another day. Part of me just wants to like quit, just not, not because I'm upset or woes me or want to give up, just because it's gonna be boring. <laughs> I'm not gonna have anything to to gain. I don't think. We still can't make it on fuel. Six point six gallons. Yeah, I mean, crew chief made it sound like. Yeah, I was worried about that. I don't know if that took the tape off or not. If I adjusted it while sitting in the pit stall, I don't know how that works. Well, 
we'll keep an eye on that, I guess. Of course, I was getting that message before, but now I'm more inclined to believe it. I'm looking down and... I mean, I can only see up to 240 with my driver height setting. I can also just... I mean, there are people behind me for position, so I don't want to back off a ton if I'm faster than them, because they have damage too or something. Someone just exited the track, I believe, so I should be up in position here. Yeah, 54.9 is would be okay, maybe 15 laps into the run, but I don't think it's going to cut it, whatever laps into the run this is. A couple. But for somebody who's worried about trying to get their I rating up a little higher, this is kind of what you're going to have to do to do it, is put around in the back if you're damaged get whatever you can get because that's just how it works. Another thing about being damaged in the back is I'm not really trying to hit my marks that well. I'm just running laps so it kind of takes the fun out of it that way too I'm just like I'm just driving all I had to do was not hit that guy all oh, well, before that all I had to do was not blow my pit stop Every time you see someone disconnect, that's a, assuming they don't come back, that's a permanent position that you can get. That's another thing in real NASCAR they would do is, if it was mathematically impossible to gain or lose a position anymore, they would have the driver pull off, because what's the point? I'm sure I could sit and try to figure that out, but it's too much thinking and clicking on other screens. That's a bad push. We're just going to run. Wish I had something interesting to talk about. I could fill the time that way. Um, I see smoke. Don't know why. Somebody blew up. Somebody blew up. Another free position, maybe. My water temperature needle hasn't really moved any higher, it looks like, so. P15, the lap time was 55.4. These lap times are so long that even if you're a second off, you're not going to have to worry about. Uh, the guy behind is gaining on me, though. That's fine. I'm not. If he ends up catching me, I'm certainly not going to race him hard for 15th place. Been nice if I could have avoided that wreck or been ahead of it by not screwing up my pit. That's that's that hurts more because the wreck avoidance I probably could have done better on too, but the, I'm saying probably because I'll have to see the replay. The pit thing is just duh, is no one's yeah, fault on my own. Inside, man. And Although the pit of, or the wreck avoidance is definitely something I need to look at. I'm going to look at it at the end. Because if you're going to join these longer races, but you can't avoid a wreck 15 laps in, so you got to spend the last 45 plus minutes just driving around damaged, you're, you're not going to succeed very well. Like, I wasn't speedy on that first run compared to the top guys, but I was holding my own. Now I don't know how tire wear would have affected me on the long run, but I wasn't like an embarrassment out there. 
You're good, man. I was hoping there was at least one more sip, sip left in my beverage, but there really wasn't. I should come more prepared that way for these races, too. Appreciate it, Rob. Probably I'll go green the rest of the way, which is good, but it means I'm unlikely to gain anything. But I still have positions to lose if I were just to give up, so... Probably should have just ended the recording and did this off camera, and then I wouldn't feel compelled to talk about nothing. I could always edit it out, I guess. Then it would be an abrupt ending. I guess I could put it in the description. Yeah, I'll make that decision after this race is over, I guess. If you see this, obviously I decided not to do that. that last lap so was it's kind of pointless. Just kind of talking out loud, my thought process, feeling some uh, dead air. We could talk about sports, I guess. The only sport I really follow is uh, NBA. Um, Clay Thompson made his return to the Warriors the other night. It was pretty cool. He had a few highlight plays. In front is now and, uh, yeah. Fun seeing the Warriors kind of back to their winning ways after a couple down years. I'm sure that... I'm sure that, uh... Non-Warrior fans don't agree. They were probably pretty sick of them. And I can get that. I've been mostly a fan of losing teams in sports my whole life. I was... Before I gave up on the NFL a few years back, I was a big Detroit Lions fan for like 20 plus years. I know what it's like to see teams that just always win and not. Is everyone running this crazy camber on the right front? No, it's just visual. It's just visual, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that guy quitting? Or are you just that extreme and giving me the spot? Then I overcooked the turn because I can't process three pieces of information at the same time. Yeah, I, that just borked the... He didn't do anything wrong, but my lack of concentration just borked that whole section, and now I'm going to be slow. They'll probably gain back on me, but if he let me buy that dramatically, I doubt he's looking to cross me back over. That would be silly. Although I've seen sillier stuff on iRacing. These early morning open sessions are for the most part pretty chill. Some of these guys are just out here, you know. You could tell they race together a lot and get to know each other. I probably could join that a little bit if I would talk into the chat like they do. Maybe they start recognizing me. Not that I'm looking for that. I'm not, I'm not here to make friends. Okay, window open. Should I pit? The answer to that question is definitely not. I don't know, Adam. Brought my last lap up. I don't want up. to overtake you, no worries. I feel like he let me by, but I'm not pulling away now. I mean, if he catches back up, he can have the spot back. I was not expecting him to do that. That being said, I don't know, the 16th place car back there, was he always that close? I wasn't really paying attention for a while. I'm definitely down. I'm down on power. It's not, like, extreme, but on a track that has such just long straights like this it really adds up to probably like a second a lap and a second a lap is a lot we're halfway through the race okay justin we're at the halfway point we think about 18 laps remaining on this tank i don't 
I don't foresee myself going 18 laps on these tires if I can help it. I could do the old short pit and see what happens. <laughs> I don't want to short pit this much though. And that's just assuming it goes green. This pit road might not be that hard to get onto, because it feels like, pay attention this time by, but it feels like you're already going straight before you even have to enter it. Just, I'm just in general. I mean, yeah, just gotta pay attention to my speed and all that jazz. That was at 56.1. 56.1, so slow. So we pit, what did we pit? We pit on lap 16. Well, uh, nah, that was for damage. We actually put tires on sooner than that, although we didn't get that many laps on them. Although I did slide them a little, the tires a little bit from uh, and they weren't too bad. If that's a look at them from my last pit. So yeah, they were basically new for the most part. We pulled a little away on Tom Lang. Lang. Michael Hayward is a little farther back than the last time I looked. Kinda wanna run this race again. Because I am not, I, I would have enjoyed, if I wasn't damaged, I would be thinking this was great fun. I know I'd be better than this. I, I wouldn't be competing for a win or anything with 6,000 I rating guys, but I don't think I will ever, without them wrecking out, I don't think that'll ever be something. I just, just don't think I'll ever have that talent. I don't know about you, Adam. Or the time that they probably put into it. My car is broken. I don't want to overtake you, so. Thought that was at 56.3. That lap was bad. Ugh. Nothing worse than getting a bad run out of two or four. Although this seems to be better than last time I'm gaining on my last lap. But that doesn't mean it's good. Really, these long straightaways might be boring. But they reward good stay cornering. High, and they punish bad corners. Severely. You can get a good run. You just pick up that speed the entire way down the straight. Question is, when do I want to pit? I'd be the fast car out here for a while. Gap two. Langer behind is now 1.2. Even with my damaged state. But thanks, Mark. Good. <laughs> ah, the leader is on the relative. I mean, twenty-two point six is still a long ways, speed. but That lap car up there is, is harassing Robert. I don't know if harassing is the right word, but I heard him on the voice say he doesn't want to overtake him. But if he's faster, he should just do it and 
because if it was me, I would be a little annoyed having that guy like right behind me the whole time. That being said, I don't know if that's what's really going on, but the cook get some damage. Why am I relatively close to him? Why? Why is my was my last lap really that bad, or did I just finally do a lap worth talking about? Or am I getting a little draft this far back? I'm assuming draft matters here. I have a hard time believing it wouldn't matter at least a little on these long straightaways. That's the definition of not how to do that turn. I don't really want to gain on these guys. I mean, passing Cook for position would be cool, I guess, but... Part of me really wants to short pit. I, I get the feeling we're just green to the end at this point. Bruno's pitting in. Well, I'm gonna, I probably could have still there, but I'm gonna just follow the leader's advice and pit next time by. I trust Bruno knows what he's doing. I absolutely believe. Okay, Justin, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I thought I could get in the gas. Good work, me. Good work. Why didn't I just keep out of the gas till I knew I had it straight? That is so stupid of me. And I always do stuff like that in these long races. It takes one little lapse. And now I'm going to have damage to repair. Car outside. Clear high. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll fill you to the end of the race. Whatever. You, you, that's my Achilles heel of many here. In five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to the Wolfson pit now. this time. The leader, Wolfson, is pitting. I gave myself 31.3 seconds of repairs. Do I take them? Alright, I'm just gonna take them. At this point, why not? A couple people will get by me. I don't know what the hot key to start the engine is. All I know is when I hit the gas, it does it. But well, I'm going to be a lap down for sure because I was less than 30 seconds from being lapped. a little bit by sitting there. Alright, don't screw this up and get a black flag or whatever they do to you. Stay left. There we go. Well, now I'm going to get to play. Let the red cars by over and over again. Tires were 72.80. P17. What was I, 15th before that? I mean, I obviously gave up a ton of time hitting the wall there. And that's probably something that would have happened regardless of my other incidents in the race. 
and I need to not do that. Feels like you can get away with that a little bit in Arca. I don't know if it's because they make D-Class more forgiving or whatever, but in these cars, it's like, yeah. The kind of damage is going to put your race at jeopardy. And you don't have no fast repair to go to either. Yeah, look how much time... Uh, Look how much time these tires are worth, even for a damaged car like mine. Now, we're just going to let him by. And another one to let by soon. Let him by. Now we got a little bit of a gap, so I have to let someone by. P15. P15 sounds wrong. I might do this race again. And I'll probably what I would probably do is record it. And if it's just a massive cock up by me again, I'll just not put it out. But if it's an improvement, and I don't mean like a better finishing position necessarily, just uh, a better performance overall. Yeah, that says I'm a 16th, but whatever. Uh, I'm sitting there looking at the relative and not my breaking point. I also need to... I was looking at the relative for my position, not for who's behind me either, which is silly of me. But I got a little bit of... A little bit of a gap till I gotta let someone by again. Well, now it says I'm in 15th. What do I know? What else can we talk about here? Talk about my failures at these races lately. The key is just getting through it without damage. I'd be so much better off. And not missing your pit stall. I even got the crew chief counting me down and I still blew by it by a mile. And then I wasted all that time trying to get it lined up to the right. By then it was pointless to worry. So I just I was going to come out last of everyone who pitted no matter what. That wall hit. Oh, this guy has a pit. The answer, Langer behind us now, 14 seconds. I don't know why. I see potentially someone I can pass. Like, if I wouldn't have had to take 30 seconds of repairs. Unless he's trying to make it. Oh, well, there's no way he can make it on fuel, right? I'm holding up this uh, lead lap car. All right, you take it high, buddy. Or you take it low, I'll take it high. It's a good thing I don't actually say that in the chat. Like, what? You're going to let me go around high? No, that's not what I meant. Thank you, Joe. No problem. I wish I could talk back. I need to do that. Where'd that guy come from? Sorry, guy. Sorry, guy. Hello. I actually wasn't prepared for that. Inside's clear. My bad. I did not mean to cut in front of you. All right. Relative. 1.5 behind. 
These are all the things. Focus. These laps are so long. And you gotta be razor concentrated. And I don't know, I'm not gonna blame it on this, but feeling the need to sit and chat probably doesn't help. I'd probably be improving more if I wasn't recording it. Maybe. I'll stay high here for a few All right. Probably not this turn, but soon. I'll be letting the guy by again. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem at all. I don't know how I got ahead of Langa. He must have waited to pit. And even though I... Inside. Still there. Clear low. Fifteenth place. Um, yeah, Langa's got a little fresher tires. He must have had a mess up, too. Or had to repair. I forgot where to brake there, but maybe not all bad. Or, yeah, I'm still not going to make this turn. 9.5. I wouldn't mind keeping that position. I mean, it's just one position, but... So, that... I mean, it's closing there because I took that terribly... And he's got a little fresher tires. Let's keep an eye on that gap. Oh, yeah. He gained a lot there on me. That's okay. If he gains on me, he gains on me. He probably did fix some damage, because he probably had some. That's the only reason I was able to gain and pass him in that last run. And I added damage, which I then fixed, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure the... Well, I know for a fact it's not like a, your car is completely repaired and back to new. It's probably like a realistic, you know, they did what they could. Beat out some dents and sent you back out there. Any engine damage is probably going to go unrepaired. So Lang is 8.1, and he's the closest car to me on track from behind, so. I'll stay high here for you, uh, Marcus. This is for position, but I mean. No way I'm going to. Uh, I'm not even going to race him into this corner because he's going to be faster, of course. Assuming you put tires on. So I see a position, but I'm just like, not going to happen, you know? No point in even going into that first turn sideways with him, even though I had to kill my run a little bit. Maybe I can use his draft to make this a little faster, if that's a thing. Time was 55.7. Maybe he's slow and I can gain on him. If that's the case, I still feel okay about not charging in in front of him because it just doesn't seem like. Nah, he's he's definitely. I don't think he's as fast as the leaders by any means. I mean, he is in 14th place, a lap down. But uh, he's definitely got something going on. Thank you, sir. Pretty polite group of guys. Look, thank you. The gap in front has increased to 1.2 seconds. Yeah, he's he's gone. It could just be the tires. Meanwhile, Tom is gaining on me. My hope now is that the tire difference equals out. That was, uh, we still got to go around 10 more times, which means 10 more minutes of racing, roughly. I 
don't have my watch on and I don't have a very convenient way of looking at the time. A running storyline in a lot of my races is that I pick up my daughter from school at 2.30. You can't be late for that, but I started this race at noon. There's no way I'm... And I can leave at 2.15 and still easily make it in time to pick her up, so... Um, oh yeah, and it says the race has been going for 53 minutes, so... It can't be much past one right now. Okay, Tom didn't gain a ton that lap. I don't think you. Thank you, Seven. Oh, now Tom gained a ton. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> Most interesting thing. Not me. Oh, I got to remember, I'm a lap down, so I have I have one less lap I have to hold them off for too. Assuming this goes green, keep that in mind. Crew chief has been good with the auto refuel. I haven't had an issue with it yet. I'm assuming it takes into account green white checkers. But I haven't had to sit and calculate fuel that way. And when you set that up, you can also set it up to be like, put this much extra in from what you think, if you want to play it extra safe, stuff like that. And I believe I gave it a little buffer that way, especially for green white checkers, although he might've already accounted for that. I do not know. But my point is, is I haven't really had a situation since I've st set that all up finally where I've had to stress out about fuel. Because one of my first Xfinity open races, or, or truck, I can't remember which, but I definitely remember having a race where I basically made it on fuel with a lap to spare. And it looks like I made a genius move. But it was purely luck that I made it. He's closing in, I don't think... Uh, that says 4.8. 4.9. We will see. So the leaders are actually, like I said, up to 55 or even more. You're gonna catch me, aren't you, Frank? I'm trying, bud. Speeding on pit road was not good. I'm not the only one to have a pit road mess up. Speeding on pit road, definitely. Definitely a harsh penalty, I think, if you do it under green. I watched Colton have that happen to him. I think in a... I don't remember what race, but he had to sit for 40 seconds. And... Uh, basically put him two laps down, I think. Because on that track... I don't remember. I can't remember what race and track it was, but I know it was a short enough track that... Sitting for 40 seconds was a two-lap loss. Had I not hit the wall and had to sit through 30 seconds of repairs, I mean, I wouldn't even be stressing about Tom behind me right now because I'd be another 30 seconds up. That being said, I, assuming I can keep it together, I don't think he's going to get me. Oh, sorry. I was trying to help you. Not helping at all. Well, I was trying to give you a boost down there. You got a quarter. <laughs> That's all right. I think I got the wrong gear or something wrong in there. That was what a bad was your turn. tires on that last run? 60. Mine was uh, 70. Five laps of fuel left. Second of damage almost. Yeah, that could be a lot of it then, too. Thank you, Richard. That's what I think. If that was accurate in five laps of fuel, I don't think it counted for green-white checkered. 
course, if a pit, if an accident, or if a caution comes out at this point, I'm pitting just for the tires, if nothing else. Although I'll have to make sure it puts fuel in. A little bit of fuel in. Um, I see a white name ahead of me. That makes me sad, because you, you take 30 seconds of sitting in the pits off of this, and I'm way ahead of that guy. Yeah, yeah, I see you, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Tom is 4.4 behind me. This car is really starting to not drive straight down the straightaway. Yeah, I think, I don't know when, I think I'm going to run this again. Whether a video comes out or not will depend on how I did. Just because I don't need... If I do this similar thing where I'm just running around damage because of stupid stuff that happened or stupid things, decisions I made. I'm not going to put two videos out like that this week. But If it shows an improvement, maybe people will like to see that. Or, two laps left. or they'll ignore it. Either way, it doesn't cost me anything to publish it other than a little bit of my time. Took a few minutes on making a thumbnail and setting up the description and... Finding all the chapter points. Uh, he's within 3.9 now, but like I said, their leaders. Frank, take a low up here, bud. Leaders are probably. Well, I don't know. How many laps do I get to go around? Copy. Thanks, man. They're not going to lap me again. I'll get you back on the lead lap. So they're, they're 10 seconds behind me. So they'll be taking the white this time, which means I need to get around two more times yet. But that can't be right. No, they're... No, they're coming to the win. Okay. I can do math, I promise. So basically, this is the last time I need to get around. I should be able to keep a 3.6 second gap without doing something super stupid. Well, at least my car didn't blow up this time. Nice. Nice pipe. pipe. Curious, curious as to what this beast looks like in the front. Getting two front end hits throughout the race. You guys run this policy here. Good win up there. Whoa, what was that? What the hell was that? You do know that still counts for everybody crossed the line, right, man? Yeah, sorry, guys. I haven't crossed the line until now. Place. Okay, we're done. Well, you got plenty. You got plenty of access to spare, Bruno. So it looks like I'll only lose 15 I rating. I probably would have lost a bunch more had I not had I just given up on the race. Good run, boys, for the most part. That was fun. Yep, good win. Thank you, Derek. Good uh, recovery, too. Appreciate it. I think I lost another 100 points. All right. What do we got? So I remember they were talking about the first caution was just somebody stopping on the tracks. So There's probably nothing to see there. Second caution was definitely something else. Let's skip some of these. Is this under caution? No, there wasn't a caught. We got like 12 to 15 laps in, I think, before anything happened. Just seems like they're going so slow. 
Oops. Or maybe it's just the engine sounds were quiet. Is this the guy I hit? No. That's the guy I hit. Rewind button is here. So we want to watch this from my point of view. I, I can already see the decision I should have made. Right here, where, where do you think 16 is going to go? He's not gonna, he's not gonna be up high still, right? I still have time to, I'm on the brakes, so it's not like I'm not cognizant, but I just chose poorly. You gotta be able to predict. Right now, I'm like, right here, I'm like, it's obvious where the 16's gonna go. But where do I go? Where it's obvious he's gonna be. What happens if I steer up here? I'm probably worried about the 17. I don't know. I feel like I could have done a much better job. And I was sh pretty sure that's what I was going to find out when I saw it. 19 dodges me pretty well. 18 kind of got screwed by my reaction too, so. And that was pretty much my race. I never had quite enough speed after that. And like I said, that was all. I could have also avoided being in that position by not blowing my pit. So, lots of things to learn. That blowing the pit was just really bad. I didn't even come close to making it. I don't know if there's gonna be much to see here. Pretty much went green from this point on, if I remember correctly. I'm like, what did I do? Oh, I remember. My next uh, dumb incident. Did I do something else stupid? I don't think so. I think that was probably the end of me having anything that would show up on here, unless it's... Tire wear, whoa. Did the clouds come out? I don't even remember that, but they must have. That was probably uns... That's probably how I got to where I could see him. That was probably a penalty. It's very particular if he crossed over just a little early. Did I hear a downshift? Fifty-six. Okay, we're almost done. I get impatient when there's nothing happening. I w I do this because I think maybe people want to see it. Um, I I watch a lot of people's videos. They all do this, so I mean, I obviously am copying them. But unless there's something that happened in the race that I really want to see again. It's usually not my favorite part of their video. Not that I begrudge them for putting it on there. I'm just kind of doing something that I feel like is probably more expected. So I ended up... In 15th place, one lap down. 30 seconds. Uh, it's hard to tell where I would have been, but... Ah, uh, that first run, though, I, I, I had a, f whatever it was, 12 laps, 15, I was up in, you know, a decent place. Where was I before, Kosh? Nine? Felt like more. Felt like way more. I was in position, I was in 10th. I was running okay. I was in a big gap. I wasn't about to lose 10th place. I was doing okay. And then I just... You're going to see what happened because we're going to fast forward to it. Blimp view is kind of cool.
Where's my pip? Oh, not necessarily mine. I thought... That's my pit. I think if my pit stall was the next one, I would have almost have blown it. And then I'm too far left. And... I did a 15-point turn. Hey, then they can finally work on me. But look, everybody's gone. Except for a damaged car, maybe. And from there... I don't think it was long before... Bam, and that was it. If you watched along, we've been live for an hour and 16 minutes. Yikes. Long video. Not much going on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.